has your journey been like so far as a professional independent artist? Yeah, so I mean, uh, music's always been one of my passions, but I think like in 2013 is when I really said I'm gonna focus and make it a full-time career as an independent artist. Uh, started jamming with friends and then do part-time jobs and some full-time jobs so that I could fund my album and uh, release that in 2020. And from then, I guess I've started to get a lot of opportunities to collaborate in specifically the Electro House music scene. But yeah, my focus now is touring or just traveling to perform as well as working on my second album because it's been almost five years or four years <laughs> since I released my album. So I'd really, really love to do, to do that. Are you working on a new album now? Yeah, I have tons of songs. I, I feel like I almost have too many. <laughs> so I'm trying to cut down yeah, and see which songs I want to keep. But I'm actually testing out one new song that I want to be in the album today during the show. So it'll be quite exciting to see the reception. But yeah, it's an exciting time to be doing my second album soon. Is your album theme based? For me, when it comes to my music, I feel like I speak First, from my own personal experience, a lot of my writing is freestyling. So it depends on what I'm going through at that point in time, like if I'm happy, if I'm sad. But I also always try, whether it's a sad song or like something difficult, I always try add hope in whatever I'm doing in some essence. It may not be in the words, but it may be in the way I sing it or in the energy I put in what I'm doing. So for me, it's mainly hope, but yeah, it changes. <laughs> Well, tell me about the visual side of your music. Do you have music videos out? Yes. So, um, end last year, I did release one called Dreams of My Goku, which was another collaboration I did with another South African producer called SP Fire. And it's a super special song to me because um, Goku means grandmother in Maragoli and I'm a Maragoli. And so it was a song that pays homage to my grandmother, our grandmothers and our ancestors and just the blessings I've given us. Thanking Goku, my grandmother, up in heaven for the blessings today. And it was really special because, especially as an independent artist, getting the funds together, getting people together to shoot a music video, <laughs> there's a lot <laughs> that goes into it. So it was really great to finally have it out. And so it's available on my YouTube channel and people can enjoy that. I love the storyline. I love telling stories in my music videos. So there's that. And then there's one called Better Than Just Fine. So that was my very, very first music video and that's out. It's not on my channel, but it's saved on my channel. So if you literally look for Olivia and Bunny, you'll find that. Then there's a short clip of my latest release, Spirit. It's a collaboration between me and an amazing producer from South Africa called Silva. And yeah, it's a really great song. Not yet shot a music video for that, but that's definitely in the works. Olivia, thank you so much. It has been a pleasure. Thank you too.